Well, thank you all so much for coming out. Um, we really appreciate your time. Uh, we do believe it's important that we get the most up-to-date information out to um, our community, out to our residents. Um, with me today, um, I've got our uh, Board of Commissioners Chairman, uh, Chairman Chad Brown, also um, Jim's chief, as you just met, uh, Chief Mark Lamphere, and also our Deputy Chief of uh, Emergency uh, Management and Fire Services, uh, Chief Deputy Chief Lance Folk. And they are gonna give you an update on the situation uh, regarding today's storms. So at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Deputy Chief Folk, um, and he can give you um, an update on the emergency management side. Thank you. All right, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, as she said, I'm Lance Folk with the Gaston County Emergency Management and Fire Services. Um, I'm here to provide an update following this uh, severe weather event in Gaston County. Uh, since approximately 3 p.m. today, the Gaston County Communication Center has processed approximately 1,200 calls for service related to severe weather. Our emergency services teams continue to work tirelessly, <coughs> excuse me, tirelessly to respond to these incidents and to ensure the safety of our residents. We want to thank everyone for their cooperation and patience during this challenging time. As the storm has passed, we urge the citizens and residents to remain cautious while assessing any potential damage and to prioritize safety. If you must travel, please continue to be mindful of any remaining hazards. Additionally, we're expecting another storm around 2 a.m. tonight. Therefore, we advise residents to stay home and avoid unnecessary travel. For those who find themselves in need of a safe place to stay, we, have, we encourage you to go directly to the shelter at the Adult Recreation Center in Gastonia, which is located at 519 West Franklin Boulevard. We will continue to monitor the situation closely and provide any necessary updates. Once again, thank you for your consider, uh, cooperation and please be safe. Thanks, Deputy Chief. I am Chad Brown. I'm chairman of the board here uh, for the Gaston County Commission. But one of the things we want to th say is thanking our uh, first responders on what's happened today. Around 355, uh, a storm came into Gaston County, uh, uprooted trees, and did a lot to our thoroughfares of trying to get some of our roadways cleared. But also a lot of power lines are down. So right now uh, in Gaston County, as far as our buildings are concerned, the building that you're standing here is one without power, and our uh, animal shelter is only two facilities that we have without power. Uh, we did have one fatality today during that uh, episode, but we also, uh, Jim's, uh, had one birth as well that they uh, administered. So that was uh, uh, bringing into life. So, you know, something good at least come out of it, even though uh, it's been a terrible day here in the county, but we're still trying to uh, assess everything that's going on. We have closed gas in county schools for tomorrow as well, and that there will be taking place uh, on a different note from the gas in county school side. But as far as what's happening inside of gas in county, uh, we'll still be assessing. There'll still be a storm coming tonight uh, that we'll be uh, monitoring all night here in this facility. Uh, as you can tell, uh, with no power, it's a little crowded and a little hot, but we're trying to get through it. But um, the first responders in gas in county have made it. Uh, uh, vital to what we do and that's why we're here to make sure that when the citizens don't feel safe we have first responders the police the gyms our firefighters our volunteer firefighters have diligently worked all day uh, to a lot of our service workers who have been out uh, making sure that they did things for uh, cutting trees and getting things out of the way we still had uh, buses on the road today schools were still uh, in play because it happened right at uh, uh, the time that they let out for school. So we're trying to do that and take care of those things. But I just wanted to let everybody know that our first responders have done a great job today uh, with Mark and, and Lance and the things that they've done of uh, making sure that Gaston County was prepared for this type of is issue. And we'll make sure we're prepared tomorrow as well when daylight comes back up. Uh, still have a lot of power outages throughout the county. I think in Gaston County, uh, Gastonia alone is 10,000 uh, service members still without service. So that's what we have as an update. And I'll turn it over to uh, Chief Mark Lamphere. Um, during this time, we were extremely busy. We responded to multiple trees on cars and multiple trees on houses. Um, the only fatality was tree on a car, uh, but some of those were um, extremely concerning. Uh, I was on one in a mobile home where um, it had been knocked off the foundation, and uh, there was tree, a, a big tree through the roof in multiple places. Uh, we struggled a little bit sometimes to get to calls because there were trees down 
across the roads that we couldn't get around, but we um, got to every call uh, by using alternate means of uh, sort of mapping ourselves there. So we got to everything, even though uh, some of them might have been just a little bit delayed, but we took care of everybody, and uh, we're appreciative of uh, all our folks and, and the public working together. Thank you. Well, some of the things that you guys can go out and see as you leave, we've had pictures all over Facebook, and I know you guys have asked to see a lot. If you go by Sims Park, uh, the winds were so strong that it blew the wall down. So there's a lot that's happened here in Gaston County. They were catastrophic and different things, especially the trees. But uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, we'll, we'll now take those for anybody who has questions and uh, try to get you guys back to some cooler weather. So because this affected the whole county, all the incorporated fire departments and Gastonia Fire Department, Stanley, Cramerton, all the municipal departments, Belmont responded to some sort of call during that time period. So I don't have the data in front of me of which agencies were the busiest, but it touched almost every, I would imagine, every fire department agency in the county. I'm not aware of any flooding issues. I think just the roadways were just the right. small flooding cycles that happen in low-lying areas. Nothing that was flooding from a river or a creek or anything uh, of that nature. When is the last time y'all saw something, I guess, this bad come through Gaston County? Besides the hail that happened in 14 years ago, I don't know if y'all got that date. Well, I, I think, you know, if you remember last year alone, or last year or two years ago in Cherville, uh, there was a big issue where a, a sheer storm came through, uh, knocked over some things, and really did some damage in Cherville. Um, Cherville was another place today that was uh, damaged. So we've had a lot, not just Cherville today, just about every municipality in Gaston County uh, was affected in some way, shape, or form, uh, whether it be with uh, traffic issues or some type of power issue. But the one thing, you know, I'm very proud of our emergency management system and how they were able to handle what the stress they had today because it was a quick, because the schools were letting out, plus we had rush hour traffic, and just about every major road was, was clogged with congestion. And then when you tried to get down a road for relief, they were blocked by a tree. So there's a lot that happened. The reason we uh, declared a state of emergency, just so you guys are aware, uh, some of the facts that we had was emergency services were rendered uh, all hands on deck at that time. You think about we had every emergency responder working for uh, safety, but we also had every fire uh, station on board with doing the things they were doing, clearing land uh, or trees out of the way, trying to get through different cycles, whether it be a wreck or something. We had the schools letting out. Um, so there was a lot of stuff happening at one time, and it stressed and overloaded a lot of the things we had from uh, GEMS, which is a, a gas and emergency medical, always to the fire station and to the police as well. So we're very thankful for our first responders and the way they reacted. But like I said, when you have 270,000 people running around at the same time trying to get to one place, it's very difficult in what we do. So we were very happy to, uh, to be able to manage that today but also to find out what's going to happen tonight and then because we have another storm coming that you know could just compound what we're actually doing. So uh, those are some of the reasons. We did hear from uh, the governor. Uh, they reached out to me later on this afternoon about 6 o'clock, uh, reached out and asked for their services or, or rendering to us as well if there's anything we need. Uh, our neighboring counties, which was Lincoln County, uh, was not uh, – that bad we went up there earlier we have been to cleveland county which has probably affected a little bit as well but as far as what's happening right now uh looks like gaston was the one that was hit the worst out of the surrounding counties i'm not saying that those places weren't affected but we we did have a lot of issues here that we had to respond to uh two questions the birth that you guys have is that in a hospital or is that at a house that you guys have to that was at a house and uh Personally, I was on my way to that call, and uh, we got blocked by trees across the road, so someone else came to that um, from an, another direction, and then we went on to a tree on a car, and I, I heard just a little bit later on the radio they announced the time of the birth, so um, we were kind of excited about that. Obviously, a lot of that's been identified by the emergency uh, medical and uh, management services team, but a lot of that, uh, Deputy Chief, you want to come and talk about some of the things that you have ready to go for tonight? So 
We'll continue to monitor the weather situation. We've tried to educate the public on that the event's coming. We have the shelter open. Um, and other than situational awareness, that's, that's the only other measures we've taken at this time. Any other questions at the time? You guys can see the map in real time of what's happening uh, as they see it the same way for emergency management. Um, as you see, these guys will be monitoring 24-7. They'll also, like I said, we, we had to, to put a makeshift uh, deli out here for that. So if you guys need something, please. But like I said, we're just trying to make sure we have everybody accommodated in this room for what we're doing. And uh, a lot of people here, especially the, the police departments across uh, we'll have most of the emergency management tonight as far as what's happening real time and then the emergency medical staff with uh, gyms and the fire will come if, that, if they're needed on those calls as well. All right. Any other questions? All right, so um, we just want to reiterate with the storms coming in overnight, we want to stress to our residents that if you do not have to go out, please stay at home, stay safe. That way our emergency and utility crews can get out there and do their job safely as well. Um, for the most up-to-date information, our residents can visit the Gaston County website. That's Gaston County, that's GastonGov.com. Um, you can also follow us on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, X, formerly Twitter. We are at Gaston County Government. So please continue to uh, monitor local news as you've been doing for the latest information. And thank you guys so much for coming out. We also want to talk about to the citizens of Gaston County, if someone does encounter an emergency, then they should dial 911. But if it's something just that, that is just something that's happening to them event, probably not to call 911 in that case, just because we want to make sure that our emergency services are available. So we're not asking you not to call for an emergency. We're just making sure that you qualify those is, is what you would do for, uh, to try to help with what's going on for them. But thank you guys.